A common doubt asked, a typical scenario of a thief, police chasing the thief, but here there is also a dog and the dog runs from the police to the thief, comes back to the police, to the thief, back to the police, to the thief and so on, keeps doing to and fro. Uh, the total distance run by the dog is still an easy question, but there's a twist here. What is the distance run by the dog in the direction of the thief? So I also want the split of the total distance in one direction versus the other. A decently popular question. Uh, if you prepare well, uh, you will come across it in your study material. So even if you know the solution to it, you can jump to the last part of this video where I'm going to give a very great insight into it. And if you don't know the solution, you watch through it. Uh, before I start it, uh, a batch, my batch uh, for CAT 24 is starting on uh, 12th of April, Friday. Uh, whatever your learning style is, whether it's formulaic or whether it's understanding based or whether it is deep insights into the question, multiple ways of solving it, all of it you will be able to get in this batch. The way I'm going to solve this question is a demo towards how I teach. Uh, uh, there's also a early bird offer running uh, on the price till 8th of April, till Monday. So evaluate this and if you feel you want to take it, probably buy it before Monday so that you can save some money. So now on to this question. So a thief escapes from the police at uh, jail at 40 uh, police start after two hours. So for the first two hours, it is only the police. Uh, sorry, it's only the thief which is running at 40 kilometers per hour. So time is there, speed is there. So obviously you can find the distance which is 80 kilometers. Now the police is alerted and start the chase at 60 kilometers. So the next story is that the chase begins. And if the chase begins, it's a question of relative speed. And in relative speed, the standard scenario, time taken, we want to find the time taken is the gap. The gap between the objects at start over relative speed. So the gap, this is 80, which was made in the first two hours. Uh, keep, keep, understand this language. Earlier, both were at the jail. Then in the first two hours, a gap was made, was created. A gap was increased. I'll tell the shortcut at the later, right? Over relative speed, relative speed is since they're in the same direction, 60 minus 40, that's 20. So this is four hours. So in four hours, the, the time taken to catch the thief. Now, as I said, the, there's a dog tracks the thief, come back to the police, back to the thief and so on. And the dog speed is given. So now my focus shifts on the dog and the dog is at the, a speed of 80 kilometers per hour and the dog is running non-stop he's running back and forth but he's running non-stop for the full four hours right and so and since it's a back and forth what i'm writing is i'm writing the total distance right so this total has some meaning i hope you understand it so the total distance is 80 for four hours is 320 kilometers so this is the total distance. As I said, the total is easy, but what about in the direction of the chase? So if I analyze this uh, uh, um, dog uh, motion, so he goes forward, he comes back, 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 he goes forward, back, and then something like this, right? So this thing will keep moving this way and he finishes when the thief is caught. And I only want the forward distance, okay, in the direction of chase. So the formulaic way here is, you go ahead and you also find the distance from J, from wherever it is starting, where the dog is starting, from the jail, where thief is caught. So how do you how do you find this distance again not a very difficult one what I would do is I would from the jail so the police starts. so I would work on the police and the police if I look at it the police is running at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour 
and for four hours. Right? Why started on the police? Because the police started from the jail. If you work with the with thief in perspective, then thief speed is 40 kilometers per hour. But the thief is not running just for four hours. The thief is running for two plus four, six hours. So you can do either of them and you will get the distance is equal to 240 kilometers. Just remember the thief started earlier, right? So that two hours, don't forget that he's running before the thief, police started. So we found this distance. Now, how is this distance going to help? So now look, the formulaic way here is there is some distance run by the dog in the forward direction. And there is some distance run in the backward direction. So forward and backward. And the sum of it, the total distance is 320. Is what we are, the total. But, but, if I cancel out the backward distance, if I take, if I take into consideration the direction, so he's going forward, and then there's backward. So this backward is, is retracing. He's subtracting the distance, whatever he went. Again, there's forward. And then he's subtracting backward. Then again, the forward, he's subtracting this back and so on. So if I look at this distance, get subtracted back. Right? It gets forward and gets subtracted. So this distance again gets subtracted back. So what I have left in that first stretch is just this part. The rest of this is backtracked. Then I have this part. The rest of it is backtracked. So this distance is backtracked. Right? So if I look over here, I'll have this distance as the net thing in the first to and fro. This distance as the net covered in the second to and fro. This the third to and fro. This fourth, this fifth and so on and this last. So if I subtract, if I keep the direction into picture, if I take that, if I subtract the B, then what left is nothing but where he started, that is the jail, and where the thief is caught. And this distance is what we found here. So this is that formulaic way, though I explained it a bit. And once I have this, I can go ahead and solve this. The forward distance is going to be nothing, but you have A plus B, A minus B. So add the two, 320 plus 240 by two, because two F, that is 560, 56, half of 56 is 28, 28. And the backward distance could be the difference of this 320 minus 240. That's 80 by 2, which is 40. You can go back and compare. If you add them up, you get 320. If you subtract them, you get 240. So when you add them up, you are, you are just ignoring the dis direction. You are just looking at what is the total distance covered, whichever direction he might run. When you are doing the second time, you are taking care of the direction and you are seeing that the net distance is 240. Now, another very straightforward way could have been, this is obviously you can do by this. Another thing you could run is, you could say is the dog runs 320 kilometers, right? That's the total distance. But, and this but is important, right? So the but, but he reaches ahead. He reaches ahead only 240 kilometers, right? So from wherever he started, he started from here and he reached only 240 kilometers, right? So he ran 320, but he reached only 240 kilometers. So what happened? So my question, what happened to the rest of the distance? The 320 minus 240, this is the 80. What happened to this 80? And this 80 would be have got cancelled out. It would have cancelled out because of the uh, forward and backward. Okay, nullified. So if it nullified, what it means is 40 was in the forward direction and 40 was in the backward direction. So you just take the difference and you split it as forward and backward. So total forward, total forward would have been the 240 which he has eventually reached plus the 40 which got cancelled out so that's 280 and the backward there's no total or whatever there's just one part which is 40 right you reach the same answer so this is your typical this is your typical solution that you're going to get in most places that's all so what is the wow thing now 
it's very challenging it's not going to come out easily at all students so you'll have to sort of be ready for a big jump in your understanding and i was just wondering that i couldn't see the recording happening here so i just thought the recording stopped or what yeah it's happening so let's see so i just mentioned once that a gap is increasing so I'll pay attention to this could i say that the dog and the police are at the same point the dog and the police start from the same place and now uh, for some time for some time the dog is running away from the police yeah both are running in the forward direction but for some time uh, we are saying that the gap between uh, them is increasing so we are saying the gap is increasing so this shows that the gap is increasing again repeat it's not as if the police is going this way and the dog that way both are going forward but then being together the dog is racing ahead and a gap is emerging between them okay and this gap that is emerging between them is at a rate of what 80 minus 60 right at the rate of 20 kilometers per hour right now the dog reaches the thief it turns back now for next some time for next some time the dog is returning back the police is going forward and this gap between them is sort of reducing so let me just put it this way the gap is reducing between them they're moving close Okay, and this they are moving close at what rate? They are moving close because it's opposite at 80 plus 60, that is at 140 kilometers per hour. Right, and the dog comes back to the police. So after this, the dog and the police are again together. So whatever was the gap that got created also got closed. So there is this idea that the distance covered in the first part and the second part is the same. Now remember this distance is not covered by the police or the uh, dog. It is a relative distance. A relative a gap emerged and then that whole gap got closed again. And we reached the same starting point relative to each other. So distance being same, if speeds are in the ratio 20 and 140, that the, then the time so let me just say time forward to the time backward will be in the ratio 7 is to 1. The reverse. This is 1 is to 7. Distance being same. Time is inversely proportional to speed which is 7 is to 1. Now this is just the first stretch. And now here after the same story will again emerge. Again the dog and police are together, then again a gap will come and again the gap will close. So there will be many. So let me just put this is the first to and fro. In the second to and fro, the time that he is running forward and the time the dog is running backward is again 7 is to 1. The time the dog is running forward, the time the dog is running backward in the third to and fro is again 7 is to 1 and so on. And hence I can say the time that the dog runs forward direction all put together. And the time the dog runs backward is also 7 is to 1. Now, this is all common sense students, right? All these ratios, since they all are 7 is to 1, when you add them, you'll get 7 is to 1. Each of them is a distance. The counterpart is 7 times that. So, if I sum this up and I sum this up, the summation, the result will also be 7 times the other sum. Right? Simple, right? And now if I, so this is the time in which the dog is running forward and backward. And if this is the dog, if we are talking then the distance run in the forward and the backward direction will also be uh, the d is for distance 7 is to 1. Now you already know that the distance the dog covers is 320. Now you might argue how do I know 320 but if you are doing this sort of in uh, detailed uh, understanding then finding that time I think so is an easy no brainer students 80 by 24 hours 4 into 80 320. So the total the sum of the distance that is 8 is nothing but 320 kilometers 
and when you split it up you will get 240 and uh, 8 into 4 7 into 4 280 and 40 kilometers right this is the distance in the forward in the backward direction right we have got this so uh, while as I said this is something that is really unusual you will not find this a lot places this understanding of it uh, and if you focus on this I can easily make this a very tough question if you buy why by saying if you look at these numbers it is only the dog and the police speed relative speed of the dog and police relative speed of the dog and police the thief is not there in this picture it's only when this 320 kilometers comes in then the thief comes in into the picture or is not right so this ratio how much time the dog is running in the forward how much time in the reverse is also known to us right uh, it's done now. I'll just do this 320 in one more way. You could have done this gap thing even with the thief and police. Na? So can I say at the start, when I look at the police and the thief, can I say at the start, at the start the relative speed is just, uh, is just 40 kilometers per hour. Why? Because only the thief is running. And this is for how much? Two hours. So the gap emerged between thief and police. Okay, so this is just the thief. And when the police and the thief are running, the gap is now closing. The police is chasing. The police catches up. But catches up at what? At 20 kilometers per hour. No? And if the dog and police catches up to 20 kilometers, the gap, whatever was created in two hours, it will take how much time? It will take four hours. Right? And uh, the dog in this four hours is going to obviously run 320, right? You could have even done that that place. Thank you.